Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 3 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got this really big expression right here. Remember, an expression is like an equation. It just doesn't have an equal sign. We need to uh, we need to simplify that so we figure out how much change. So they're going to pay with a 50. And then all of this stuff in the parentheses, I guess, is the amount of items they bought and how much each one costs. So we're just trying to basically simplify this really big expression. So let's take a look here at our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Even though those are in order, multiplication and division are equal, so they can go in either order. Same with addition and subtraction. So this subtraction right here, look at that subtraction. It's all the way down at the bottom, so we're going to actually do that last. First, let's take care of this parentheses here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look inside the parentheses. So I'm just going to kind of take this parentheses. And I'm going to bring it out right here. And we'll leave the 50 minus once we simplify that. So let's bring this out. We've got 14 plus 12 plus we've got a 2 parentheses 5, 2 parentheses 2, and then plus 3. So what are these? Well, if you ever have a number outside of parentheses, that always always is going to represent multiplication. And so that's just a strange way that we start writing multiplication. It's just a number outside of a parentheses or even a number right next to a, a letter. So if we ever see uh, two numbers next to each other with a parentheses or a number and a letter, it's always going to be multiplication. So that means we're going to have to take care of that multiplication first. So let's, let's do that. We've got 14 plus 12. I'm just going to bring those down. Now let's go ahead and take care of this multiplication first. 2 times 5, so I'm just, and it's a plus right there, so I'm just going to say plus 10. And then I've got a 2 times 2, so I'm going to bring that down into a 4. So you see that 2 times 5 makes my 10. 2 times 2 makes my 4. And then I've got a plus 3. And then once you've done that, just even that simple step is take a look. I've got 14, 12, 10, 4, and 3, and it's all addition. So I'm just going to add straight across. Uh, let me go ahead and add it vertically so I don't mess anything up. So just that one simple step gets rid of those two multiplication. So I've got 4 and 4 is 8, 2 is 10, and 3 is 13. So I've got a 43. Now if you're looking, 43 is actually not one of the options. But remember, we're not done yet. All we were trying to do is simplify this large expression inside the parentheses. So what we have now is we need to bring this back down here. And it's going to be 50 minus our 43. So all of this right here is what brought us down to our 43. And so we will take a look at that, and that is going to equal 7. That's going to be very simple. So here is our answer, D equals 7. Now let's see if we can find some of these incorrect answers. So if we make an error right here, if we were to take that and really look at it as that 3 inside the parentheses, then that would be 2 plus 3 is 5. So this would be 5 times 2 is 10 plus another 10 right here, plus my 12 and 14, that's 26. So that makes 46. And so 46 minus 50, that's where that 4 comes through, right here. So what if you didn't know what the parentheses mean? What if you just took this 2 parentheses 5 and you thought it was 25? And that 2 parentheses 2 was 22, which obviously they're not. You add all that together, you would get 76. Now, you can't subtract 76 from 50, but you can take 50 from 76, and you would get 26, which is our B.